At LaSalle University, the man behind the mask is a mystery. We take him for granted. We see him on the court, on school publicity, and around campus, yet we don't know his true identity. His image, iconic. His dance moves, legendary. He spends his time behind the scenes traveling with the blue and gold teams and in the back of the halls of the Heyman Center. He's the explorer, and his name is Ian Hall. First and foremost, I'm the LaSalle Explorer. Secondly, I'm just a little lowly sophomore accounting and finance from the great Midwestern state of Missouri. So obviously, my first question was, how does a kid from Missouri end up here at LaSalle with the interest to become the mascot for a school from over a thousand miles away? It was actually the opening weekend, you know how they have all the little freshmen out on uh, all those activities? There's this cheerleading table telling us to come to all these uh, sporting events and all these uh, all the basketball games up, uh, for the upcoming winter. And right then and there, I just looked at him and I was like, I would like to be the LaSalle Explorer, the mascot. She points me in the direction of my now boss, Michelle DeLong, and I go up to her and she says, all right, stop by my office uh, Monday morning and I'll give you to the other mascot and he'll let you know how it goes. A sort of spontaneous decision, Ian had no idea what exactly he was getting into, but the athletics department welcomed him and he had the mask on almost immediately. My first event is the LaSalle Explorer at the Students' Fair. I remember I was wearing my glasses that day, which is not a good idea. It was fogging up, and I think I sweated about 10 pounds off that day. Getting to run out on the Gola floor wouldn't prove to be as simple. Ian spent time working events like meet and greets, activities fairs, and even bar mitzvahs. However, the answer I wanted to know was, when did it finally click? When did he know he was the Explorer? I think it was this year. That's when I got to start doing uh, men's basketball games more, and it was the first time we played St. Joe's here at LaSalle, and I just remember it was coming together. It was a beautiful game. Um, everyone was going nuts, back and forth, back and forth. And finally, towards about the last two or three minutes, it all just came together. We were winning. My dance moves were on point. The music was on point. Everyone was cheering and screaming. And it, I think that was my favorite game uh, so far in my career here. So now that everything had clicked, there's a very important attribute to being a mascot. So, I had to ask, what are the top three dance moves for the Explorer? Alright, number three, it's kind of just like, I don't know, it's just kind of like this. You just kind of get up and I'm just going like one of these sort of things. Uh, number two, it's my favorite one to do to the cameras. I mean, typically when somebody puts a camera on your face, you're supposed to go, woo, 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 woo. But uh, my favorite one is to, you take a step back and you eye the camera and then you just come close. Finally, my third and most favorite, or my first and most favorite one is, I use it mainly when I'm making fun of the St. Joe's Hawk just because my cape kind of looks like wings sometimes and you guys know he's always flapping or whatever. My second one is just holding the cape out and one of these, and just spinning around and then just busting off into something else, you know? It's always a lot of fun. It was then that I realized that it takes a different kind of breed to be the mascot. And as an honors program business co-op student, who's also the music director for WEXP Radio on campus, I couldn't imagine the amount of time that mascotting takes away. So I wondered, what makes it worth it? For me, I just like being, it feels nice to be the epitome of the LaSalle, of being a LaSalle explorer. Like, and just the fact that I've been relied on and it's been bestowed on me just to go nuts and have a great time and just get everyone pumped up as best as I can and just be an absolute goofball and just, just cheer on our team, win or lose. It became very clear that mascotting is something very close to Ian's heart. Now, as he's preparing to retire after this next season due to internships, he does have a surprise in store. But I guess if I actually had a legacy, I do have one. And my younger brother, he's going to be a LaSalle Explorer next year. And he actually already asked if he could uh, take over for me. Um, so, because next year's going to kind of be my last year, and so it's kind of fun. It's kind of funny to keep it in the family, with my younger brother coming up and be the new explorer. So, I guess that's my real legacy. As the man in the mask changes hands from brother to brother, we know that the new mascot will have some solid moves to work off of. So, I guess mascotting runs in the family. So, go explorers! This is Jake Smolinski reporting for LaSalle TV.